Alright, so I'm, I'm probably gonna speed it up a little bit again if it takes me a while to dock. So, I don't know. Or if I break something. I might break something here. At, ooh. Well, we bumped into it, so that's good. Not bad, not bad. Hello guys, welcome back to Gemini Gaming. Today I'm showing you another KSP mod called Cormoran Arenology, created by PAC. Um, this mod is basically just a rehaul of the space shuttles in the game. The space shuttle parts, um, a lot more parts added into the game, so you can build more realistic space shuttles, better looking space shuttles, more balanced space shuttles. And, uh, you know, it just makes the whole process of building a space shuttle more fun, because you can build something that looks pretty realistic and with a lot of functions just like the real space shuttle had um, and you know it's still Kerbal so you can add some stuff some crazy stuff you can make your shuttle bigger you can do whatever you want uh, so yeah let's go ahead and get to the mod I'm gonna show you the parts real quick and here they are alright so the first thing that's added that's a very big deal are tanks alright they're very big tanks they're five millimeter millimeter five meter tanks sorry not millimeter uh, uh, so yeah they look just like the spatial tanks uh, you can change the uh, the amount of fuel you carry the type of fuel you carry inside and you can also change the textures which is something very interesting you can change the textures you can make them look like the original space shuttle the first time the space shuttle launched with the white tank um, so that's very cool very very cool uh, smaller tanks are also added uh, by the way these are added by a sub mod pack called the MK3 Block 2 program, Phase 1 Liquid Rocket Boosters. Um, the modder is probably still working on it, that's why it's not included in the in the mod. So you need to download two files to get this whole mod. So yeah, those are that. Those are for the liquid boosters, as you can see. Um, and this engine is also added by the liquid boosters. So let's uh, die. let's show you how that would look. So you get four rockets and you mount them down here if this would copper cooperate but it doesn't seem like it's going to there we go see so there you go four rocket engines for one giant liquid booster rocket and there's also this part here that I forgot to add basically uh, it holds solid rocket boosters that separate your booster once the fuel is out right so that's good uh, normal solid rocket boosters are added too. Very nice with the little uh, separator nose cone. Um, this little tank, uh, basically just a normal tank. Uh, aesthetic, really. You can use it on your shuttle whenever you want. Uh, separators for your boosters. The solid rocket booster, liquid booster. Separators for your shuttle, from your shuttle and the tank. So you can separate that. Um, one of the more interesting and functional parts of the mod is this little pack, the man maneuvering unit. Kind of like the real life maneuvering unit that these astronauts used when they were repairing the Hubble. I think that's all, that was what they were doing. So yeah, that's added too. I'm going to show that off in space in a bit, so stick around for that. And this other engine is also added, the ST25, basically modeled after the shuttle engine. Uh, it's a little bit uh, less uh, powerful than the Vector engine, uh, but it's also cheaper. So it's more balanced, and you can use it in the career mode um, to have more fun with that. To increase your usability, cheaper prices, better, better, you know, better performance overall. Um, the mod also adds these wings uh, that you can uh, flip the tiles on, right? Well, not wings. Elevon. Sorry, Elevons. Flip the tiles, make them look... You know, if you, you can flip them around. If you put them on the wrong side, you don't have to change it. You can just flip the tiles and the heat shield moves from side to side. So that's good. And this little this body flap that goes at the back of the shuttle under the engines. So yeah. Uh, and this part that makes your, your um, cockpit Mark III cockpit look a lot better. Once you add it, it has RCS, uh, so you know, just get some monopropulsion. You can maneuver your shuttle a lot easier. 
And this other thing, this big thing. So here. This is an airlock, it's also added by the uh, the mod. You can put it at the back of your shuttle, put a little docking port, whatever you want. So that's that. Um, this is a normal cargo bay, but it, it also, the mod also, also has this new texture to it, so you can change the textures. Make them look a lot more like the shuttle, instead of this ugly orange texture, which I don't know why they did that. Um, but anyway. Uh, that's the developer issue, not the modder issue. So the modder adds new textures to make like, everything look a lot better. Alright, so another thing that's also added is this part, this giant part. It, it makes the shuttle more, a little more rigid, a little more, a little stronger, every, and more realistic looking too. Uh, it carries monopropellant, but you can, you know, you can change the combination of fuel. If you want to have a, a shuttle that keeps using the main engines in space, you can, you know, just use this. Uh, anyway, and it has a and it's very good to put more cargo base on there like that, extend it and uh, yeah very good aerodynamics, uh, your shuttles don't break up when you're entering so that's good uh, and these, the OMS uh, pods they have RCS too the the mod, the modder also included these RCS pods so if you're up, you know, you want to make your own, cool more uh, solid rocket boosters for separating your uh, boosters and stuff, here's another one. And the OMS engines, you know, the, the orbital shuttle engines, uh, they run on monopropellant. So you're going to have to have monopropellant for you to use those. But, you know, you can carry it with this. Like that. So, whatever. It's all cool. And I think... Oh, and also the mod includes a fuel cell with its own fuel in it, so that's cool. And the mod includes this other little thing, this little module that you can put cargo in it inside your space shuttle. So, like, if you want to have a thing that doesn't show when you open this, for whatever reason, you can put put it in there and then just release it once you're good. All right. So I think that's pretty much it for the parts. I might have missed something, but uh, it looks like it is. But this is pretty much the main part so of, of the mod, you know. Uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, these flags, movable flags. You know, you can just do whatever. Uh, you can get the Russian flag instead of the American flag if you're into that. I don't know. Um, yeah, so KSP. Uh, this is also a part. You can move that around. You can change the uh, how it looks. Up to you. So, yeah, I think that's it. So, um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you the fully built space shuttle. Uh, let's see. Continue. Let's see here. All right. So I'm gonna show you first. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the Block Two Space Shuttle, which is this one. Um, I downloaded the craft files from the mod modder, so the modder actually built these. I didn't. Uh, I made some modifications to the normal Space Shuttle, the one with the solid rocket booster, just to be able to fly it a little better. But uh, I'm just gonna fly this one just to show you this one real quick. I'm not gonna go into space with this one because it's a little OP. But uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and fly this one real quick. And uh, I'll just go ahead and show you that. And then we'll, I'll fly the space station so I can show you the maneuvering pack and how everything else. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and launch this. So yeah, uh, same effects as the other engine, the vector engine. That might change later on, I don't know. The mod is probably still working on this mod. So yeah, it flies very well. Large maneuverability, everything's good. It looks good. So yeah, well, once you're you know you run out of, of fuel on these boosters, you decouple them. They fly off, and then you decouple, and then you know your OMS engines, right there. Very weak engines, but they do the job. They do the job. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. And uh, yeah, so they. they the, tex the textures, the models look very nice. Those tanks, they look really good. And I think I accidentally just bombed the uh, Kerbal Space. Uh, oh dear. Okay, well I'm going to try to land this and pretend that didn't happen. So let's go ahead and uh, deploy the landing gear. Yeah, that, that thing r really is bombing. Th thankfully, it looks like it missed. And the tank just came back into... 
a very, very, very strange trajectory there. Very weird. Anyway, so let's see if I can land this. Maybe not. Actually, no. I'm going to show a landing later once we uh, come back from actual space. Norway, because we're going to do that. So save some time there. Our flight to be assembly. And let's get the, the other space shuttle. The normal, the more realistic one. The, the you know, the normal one. Oh, and another uh, part of the mod that's also included is the cargo model of the space shuttle that was never used but you know uh the space program the the Na nasa was trying to save cost and they thought about building a just the space shuttle without wings that is controlled by a computer that can fly into space and uh do what needs to be done deliver the cargo and come back so yeah that's that uh, these, this uh, particular one isn't supposed to come back and return and land. It's supposed to be destroyed, but uh, you know that didn't help with costs because you know you still include engines. Um, uh, these old mess engines are still there, so you know all that is lost. It's not recovered, just like unlike the normal space shuttle. So they never did it due to budget constraints. But you know it would have been cool to see that fly too. Let's go ahead and get the actual space shuttle. I think it is this one. Yeah. This one. Alright, so normal space shuttle. You can put your cargo airlock, uh, docking port, uh, more little pieces that I missed. Sadly. Uh, and, oh, and I had this, but it didn't show. It's just a little tank. Reserve. Reserve fuel tank. You know? So, in case you're about to die or something, you can go activate it and you can use your main engines for a little bit. For a little boost maybe you're missing the wrong way you can turn them on and get to where you need to go uh, a lot of space for cargo and um, to commemorate the space shuttle we're gonna change the textures of the tank just like the original space shuttle and also you can use these to to make the the russian space shuttle called the baran if you want to it's up to you though so let's go ahead and fly this Go ahead and fly this little shuttle into space and all right guys let's go ahead and launch this thing up into space this little shuttle here so um i'm gonna dock with this space station up here that i put here a little bit back in preparation for this mod review so let's go ahead and launch it um uh the, the mod also contains some custom f uh rocket uh flares for the rocket boosters they're a lot bigger than the normal ones and they look a lot nicer so you know that's that's that uh, I'm probably gonna uh, speed through this uh, launch uh, the editing so you're not gonna get to see much of this um, so um, yeah go ahead and enjoy the, the, the launch so you don't get bored of this so uh, I'll see you in a bit once I dock with the space station possible approach I could do there to make it more realistic I guess I don't know something you know something you just choose to do sometimes uh, but in all honesty I just did it because I wanted to conserve fuel 
Uh, I don't know what the limits of the space shuttle is, but you know, uh, these engines aren't the most efficient since they run on monopropellant, so I just didn't want to, you know, make a mistake there. But anyway, we're here. This little space station I launched a while back is over there. Let's go ahead and point to our target and go see if we can dock. I haven't docked in a while, so this may or may not be the worst thing you you all have seen in this. There we go. So it wasn't too bad once I got my stuff aligned a little bit. Um, so yeah, here we are now. Okay, so there's some liquid fuel here in case I needed it, but you know, monopropellant. So no, 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 none, none of that. Some monopropellant here, so we can use that if we need to. Anyway, let's go ahead and get uh, Jebediah out here. So we can show us off one of the more interesting parts of this mod. Alright, Jebediah, get out here. Alright, so... Something I found very cool about this mod is this, this thing. Uh, there's not many of these, many of these maneuvering units out there. So uh, let's go ahead and get Jebediah to pilot it here. If we can, sorry, there we go. So we need a. It acts like a normal docking port. So all you gotta do is decouple node, and then we can play as Jebediah. All right, so do we have any RCA? Yeah, we do, okay. Mm -hmm. So once we're here, we can go ahead and control from here. So we can get any RCS to work out. Huh, oh, so. That's, oh, that's why. RCS is disabled there, okay. Huh. There we go. There was a problem. Make sure you always activate them. Alright, so that's a problem. Alright, so here you go. So now your Kerbal has a ability to move around beyond his um, normal RCS uh, capability. So now he doesn't use his RCS to move around, which is very cool. Or does it actually? No, he doesn't. Now he's using RCS, actual RCS from this pack here. So let's warp over to when it's daytime so we can see what the hell we're doing. It's very dark. Very, very dark. Alright, there we go. Daytime. Alright, so yeah, it's gonna take a little while to get used to the controllers because it's a whole new control scheme. But, uh, it's not too hard. Can go around and fly around with your Kerbal. Very cool, very cool, very unique. I haven't seen many of these. Uh, they're very nicely modeled, by the way. This one, this one is very nicely modeled, uh, and a lot of functionality. If you add something like K, KES, uh, 
Kerbal attachment system or whatever the new one is. Kerbal inventory system now. Uh, you could carry a bunch of stuff. I'm pretty sure, uh, and I'm pretty sure this mod this this mod is compatible with that. So don't worry about that. So yeah, it's a it's a very nice mod. One of the best I've seen in a while, and it's maintained very well. The mod the mod creator is doing a very good job. So yeah. About that. How about that? All right. So let's see if we can get a nice, good old screenshot there. I don't even know what I'm gonna use, but whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and dock back. You can dock back, which is something very cool with this. If I can do it, I already had enough trouble docking with the spatial. So let's go see if I can do this here. It's gonna be very difficult. Oh, I will admit it's going to be very difficult. You have to learn how to do this all over again, man. You have to learn how to fly. Alright. Let's see if we can do this correctly. Not currently, not doing a good job, by the way. It is just not doing it for me. Alright, like this would be better, yeah. I wonder if flying one of these in real life would be this hard. Alright, I'm just gonna go for a rough a rough landing here. Try to get it in. Turn that off. Let the uh, magnetic magnetic attachments do the job for me. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for re-entry. And I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, I already got the trajectory secured uh, for the re-entry. So, just align ourselves here. Uh, what I like about this is that the shuttle basically flies itself down. You don't have to do much. Basically just let time warp go. And uh, it should fly itself down. Uh, I found that 27 kilometers around there is a good altitude just put the periapsis above the the space center around close around there so space center is around here somewhere so yeah just just gonna let it guide itself down and hopefully we have a successful landing maybe not but we'll see just trying to get it aligned a little bit better the better the align alignment is the most optimal re-entry trajectory you'll have. So you want it to be flat. Just point it prograde and line it up with the surface. And the shuttle should just glide down. Might have to do a couple maneuvers once you're like really close to the uh, space center. But once you're down there you should be okay. Landing shells is not the easiest thing because they're, you know, they're not designed to fly. They're just designed to just basically slowly come down to a crash landing, kind of, actually. Not really, but, you know, kind of like that. Because you, you don't have any power anymore. Once you enter the atmosphere, you have no way to fly anymore, produce any thrust. So you, you're basically just gliding down, which is the difficult part about shuttles. But also a very interesting thing about them. In Kerbal, though, you can, you know, cheat a little bit and carry some extra gas or whatever and activate your main engines. But that's about that's about it. These don't... This won't push you. They won't push you. Though. The shuttle's too heavy. Uh, they, they can't physically produce enough thrust to make you go forward. At all. So we just passed that little island. Might... Hmm... I don't know. We're slowing down a little bit too much here, but maybe not actually. Okay, no, I think we're fine. Once we get over those mountains, as long as we're still going over at a decent speed, we should be able to get to the space center easily. Only problem here though is gonna get a little bit dark soon, so 
So you can see the lights from the space center over there. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be a tight one. I will be honest. All right, all right. So uh, let's deploy the landing gear. We're still going a bit fast, but we'll be fine. Only problem I had with this shuttle in the past is that it gets really wild when you're trying to slow down. These maneuvers are not easy to do. It flies well once you're down at a normal speed. Okay, so I had to had to quick load there because I couldn't see a damn thing. So we're coming down now. Hopefully I can make this thing go away. It doesn't seem like it wants to go away. That's fine. Okay, so another thing that I forgot to mention, the mod also adds a drogue chute. So that's going to be very, very a very good uh, thing to use here because we're coming in real fast and real steep. Okay, okay. I did it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Gained a little bit too much altitude there, but activate the brakes. Deploy the chute and we bounced. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, you're not supposed to do it, but this is the way I did it here. Okay, so, okay, we got it, we got it. We got a nice landing there. All right. All right, hopefully this thing can uh, stop. There we go. All right, there you go, there you go. That's a, success, a successful mission right there. When Doc did our, our little maneuver up there and had a successful mission. So, let's get the Kerbals out here. Apparently the Kerbal is very warm. Very, very warm. Hmm. That's probably a glitch with the, with the game. Let's get more Kerbals out here. I'll just get two of them out, whatever. A couple Kerbals just to show, them, show off the mod a little bit. And how it looks. So yeah, it, it, it adds a lot. This mod is very good. It adds a lot of um, extra parts. Makes the shuttle look really nice. It made it made makes everything just a lot better looking. Uh, it also makes building a shuttle fun, because you know sometimes you you have to struggle a lot to get a, sh a shuttle to fly, and uh, you know it's not the best. But and you know you, sometimes you end, you don't end up with like the right uh, you end up making it too long or or something. The engines don't want to cooperate with you and makes everything hard to control but you know this mod is very nice it adds tanks uh, and those tanks and all these parts you can use to do whatever I mean you can they're very stock alike and uh, you can use them to build whatever you want so you know up to you sorry about that just trying to get a nice a nice sunset over there but yeah that's pretty much it for the mod uh, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. You can get, you can use the shuttle to take uh, uh, cargo into space, build a space station. It's very maneuverable in space. Those RCS thrusters really help. Uh, it carries a decent amount of fuel. There goes the moon. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a very good mod. I haven't seen one that does this in a while. You know, the parts are really well balanced. It, nothing's overpowered. Uh, the engines are very good. You can use the engines on any other rocket. Um, and I think, I'm not sure, but I think that, uh, these engines are unlocked a lot earlier than the vector engines in the career mode, making the shuttle a lot more usable in the early stages when you actually need it, because at the end you have a lot of money, and you really don't care about reusability, you just dump rockets in the ocean or whatever. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, uh, comment, share, uh, use a mod, comment on the forum for the modder. Give them uh, suggestions. Uh, if you want compatibility with any other mod, the, the modder can do that. Just suggest it. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.